Hey, what's going on guys? We're going to be casting this game between Emma98 here in the blue at 564 versus Ala Nira here in the uh, red at 937. So uh, he's going to go for a rabbit play as, and he's going to go for Sabersaurus. So that means he has Cobblezools in his hand uh, or possibly he has, um, you know, uh, one Sabersaurus already in his hand and he doesn't want to risk into drawing it. And, uh, but the thing is, that is something, you know, rabbit players, uh, you know, need to take into consideration. They can draw to the point where they can't get out, you know, the, uh, cards. Because if you draw double of the same card, it really does hurt. So we see a duality come out. And, um, he says yes. He says see. Sí. And so let's see what he goes for. Ooh, and it looks like he's playing, uh, Dino Rabbits as well. And so whoever really gets to go first really does, does have a pretty good advantage. Um, so he's going to go for Rabbit himself, which my guess would be Rabbit would get negated. Um, and uh, the thing is, uh, depending on what cards your opponent's already played, sometimes you might want to negate the Rabbit, and sometimes you want to negate the Exceed to make, uh, that whenever they try to make like Dolka or Lagia. Sometimes you want to solve that, um, depending on you know, what they have. Oh, and Heavy Storm comes out. See if he negates that. Um, oh, and it is a lance. Okay. I'd almost say it was okay to negate that. Because what was he gonna do to get over it? I was gonna send Saber Source. Okay. So let's see what those back rows are. Um, So if there's like a D prism plus one, that'd be good. Ooh, and a, a Cobblezools comes out. And yeah, that's a terrible card to draw. Saber Sword is not so bad, though. Um, so let's see uh, what ends up happening. And Bottomless comes out. Ooh, he was, gonna, he was gonna try to mind control. So let's see if he, uh, oh, he's gonna let the Bottomless go through. Okay, uh, that, would, that would hurt a lot if he exceeded me in another uh, lag, yeah. But, um, Bottomless was there. Bottomless is a great card as far as, uh, playing against uh, the whole Dino Rabbit deck. Yeah. And uh, Phoenix Chain comes out, and uh, Loggy would most likely be forced to negate that. And then uh, our player in the blue can now uh, get out his uh, Rabbit next turn, because he did add it with Duality. Uh, but if he does set something like a Solemn or... He does happen to take 500 damage, though. Uh, Oh, and he just ends right there, so I'm not sure what that back row could be, but let's see if it's anything. He says okay, so it looks like that might go through. And there's no uh, max C that has changed, so possibly he might be able to come back from this. Uh, I mean, my guess is he can make Utopia. I don't think making Loggy would be the best option. Ooh, and a front of Tribute comes out, and so that is not... Essentially, a, a pl I mean, he already plus one off Lagia, but, um, yeah. But he still is at a plus one, the player in the red, as far as card advantage-wise. Okay, so, let's see. He, so he drew double cobbles tools, so that is kind of unfortunate, but you know, it does happen. So let's see what our player in the blue can do to uh, possibly come back. I mean, if he has another rabbit, he could probably come back really easy, uh, as long as that face down card isn't a warning. Or a tour guide. I mean, I'm surprised I haven't seen a tour guide come out. So I'm not sure what he says. He's saying something about Guayba in the chat there. And uh, I believe Guayba has 1,700 attacks, so... Um, see, I think they're still debating on what's going on. But, yeah. Oh, I think he's asking if he gets his effect even if Guayba is destroyed. Um... I'm pretty sure he does because um, it's it doesn't have to destroy and send of the graver, it just has to destroy. It's like uh was a full home knight and Raiko. That was uh, one ruling. 
So he would get out another um, direct Guaiba in defense. Right? Oh no, he can get it in attack or defense. Uh, but the other way, this one does die though because they're both at 1700. So that's still a good play. I mean, it's like point for point with Tengu. I mean, you still have monster presence, and that is always good. And if that's a face down, I, I doubt it's a face down Lance. He would have probably activated it. But if that's like a, uh, let's see, what could it be? Like a Book of Moon would be good. Uh, that way he can run over something. Um, but most of the decks are pretty predictable as far as uh, Dino Rabbit. You can see all the plays coming. Um, you just have to be ready for them. You just have to have that answer immediately. We see a duality once again. We're player in the blue. Oh, Deep Prison. A Dark Hull. And see a Resource. Well, he could make uh, Loggy at next turn. Um, okay, he's going to be with the D Prison. So, I mean, he could have got Saber Source and attack, but yeah, with two back row, I don't blame him. That probably is a, a better option. Also, he's going to go. <laughs> oh, he already had another dino. But uh, yeah, he can hit him for 34 if everything goes through. Mirror Force, and that's going to hurt quite a bit. Uh, he does get. He is plusing one essentially off of that Mirror Force. Um, so, I mean, this game is still in anyone's uh, ballpark here. It could be anyone's game. Just depending on who... I'd say whoever is able to get a rabbit effect out next first really will be set the uh, extra advantage. Even though our player in the red already has the advantage. I mean, he has two extra cards at the moment. And he's got a heavy storm. Interesting choice. Uh, perhaps he has, like, a rabbit or a good play. He's having his own warning. Oh, so, yeah, as you guys can see, um, from there, he's going to go and... Um, my guess is, what is he going for saying it? Interesting. Um, I would want Tour Guide into Tour Guide. Um, to me, I mean, saying and Search is not Rabbit, so you could do it later. He's going to detach the Tour Guide, and he's going to make Lev Levier and get back Rabbit. Oh, no. No, he's. He wants to detach Sangan, perhaps. I'm not sure. Okay, ooh. What? Okay, I mean, I guess they can't get over it. But you get so much more advantage. Because you get... Yeah. I don't know. What, 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 what do you guys think? Would you guys have went for that? I think, I mean, if your opponent has no cards, you don't have to worry about a Veiler or anything, so why not just go for the Logia play? Because then you don't have to worry about whatever they draw into, you have Logia to negate. Unless they have Spirit Reaper in that case. And, uh, I mean, number 17 wouldn't get over Spirit Reaper anyways. But yeah, I definitely feel like going for, um, Levier get back the, uh, the Banished Rabbit. Because you can get back your opponents, too. And so, there's a set one. Which one? I wondering what could be said? I mean, my guess is probably Spirit Reaper, but our blue player decides to go for it. And, um, and the thing is, he's not going to be able to get over number 17. So I'm not sure if he's just going to leave it there. He can't leave it there, actually, because, uh, unless the face down is a D prism. Um, I'm sure he wants this hangings effect, but he's... Because even if he goes for, uh... Levier and then makes like a Utopia, he'd still have to point for point. He could make Acid Golem, but that might end up uh, killing him because he only does have 800 life. Uh, but we'll find out. Um, my guess is to make Levier. So let's see what he ends up going for. We're going to go for Acid Golem. <laughs> let's see. Maybe he's still deciding what he wants to go for. He's checking his extra deck still, and we're patiently waiting. So, uh, he said he's saying Golem or Levy. I guess he's still deciding what he wants to go for, and uh, our player of the red is telling him to go for Golem. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, going for Utopia point for point. Oh, he's going to go for Golem. Okay. I mean, it does answer pretty much everything that Rabbit has to offer. I mean, they can't run it over. But the thing is, he can't special summon to actually make a game. And basically, um, 
he needs to win uh, within the next like two turns. Because uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with Acid Golem, it can't attack what doesn't have any materials, and uh, you have to detach one X by Z or take 2,000 damage. So he would have to uh, detach right now. Uh, so yes, um, he's going to attack the face down and Spirit Reaper, and Spirit Reaper is going to make a game, <laughs> as you guys can see. Uh, but I really felt like our player in the red just could have made a game uh, had he went for that Levier play. Um, he definitely would have had a game. We see a pot of avarice, uh, and there's really no need to do it. Basically, uh, I think our player in the blue has lost because uh, next turn, if he he does have to uh, detach, and uh, once acid golem has no attachment, it can't attack. So acid golem is a very dangerous card to go for um, if you don't have like a guaranteed play with it. I mean, if you're attacking into a black Ops soldier just to crash, I think that that is very good. Uh, just to get a 3,000 monster out really quick is uh, always nice. Or just to, like, attack for game. And our player in the blue happens to have Pot of Avarice as well. And he is going to have to, uh... Oh, he's putting back his cards. Well, he does have to detach for uh, Acid Golem, so he could put back a Torguide if he wishes. Although he still can't Special Summon when Acid Golem is on the field. And, uh... It doesn't stop your opponent, it's just whoever controls Acid Golem can't Special Summon. Um, but what he needs to draw into, he needs to draw into Dark Hall, plus, like, hmm, did he use Heavy Storm? He used Heavy Storm in the very beginning, yeah. Uh, so he, he would need, like, Dark Hall plus Heavy Storm. Uh, and then he's doing Duality. He really needs Dark Hall. <laughs> if he doesn't have Dark Hall, then... He does have Reborn, but without Dark Hall, it's just not gonna happen. I don't think he's gonna be able to do a take the game here. Um, let's see... Uh, what's really interesting to do with Acid Golem is after it has no attachment, you creature swap it. So you force your opponent to take 2,000 damage, and then they can't special summon. Which uh, happened against me, and it kind of did hurt for a while. Uh, <laughs> yeah, someone creature swapped and gave me an Acid Golem with no attachments, so I couldn't special summon. Um, like, oh, he, he's, I didn't sing something about uh, Fiendish Chain. Um, if he does have Fiend Chain, he could, uh, do that. That'd be interesting. But yeah, I guess there was no answer, because, uh, Lava Golem, or not the Lava Golem, as a Golem did, uh, end up killing our player in the blue. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.